By the end of this video, you should be able to recognise any musical interval by using famous songs as reference points. So before we get started, if you want to see any more of this kind of content, then make sure you hit subscribe because I've got loads more videos coming up, so make sure you don't miss them. So I put a short video on TikTok explaining melodic intervals going up, and it kind of kicked off a bit, so I wanted to make a whole YouTube video out of it. I've had a few other song suggestions too, so if you can think of any, then make sure to put it in the description. Uh, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. First off, what is an interval I hear you scream? Well, it's basically the difference between two notes in a musical scale. All the examples I'm going to use in this video are going to start on a C, and then you're going up the scale, so the next note up is a second, which is a D, and then a third, which is a E. The seconds and thirds, sixths and sevenths that you'll find in a major scale are called major intervals, and if they're in the minor scale, then it's a minor interval. But if it's a fourth or a fifth or an octave, then it's always going to be called perfect because they're found in both the major and the minor scales. With all of that in mind, let's learn these intervals by using some famous songs. Minor, second, minor, second, minor, second, major, second to you. That's a minor third. A major third is what this is. A major third is what this is. Perfect fourth, the angels sing the tritones. Perfect fifth, minor sixth, minor sixth, perfect fifth. Yeah, that's a major sixth. Here it is again. The minor seventh takes it all. Major seventh, major seventh. This note is an octave way up high. Do you have songs for descending intervals? Yes. Yes, I do. Buckle up, kids. This is tricky stuff. This is elite tier. That's a minor second, Beethoven. Major second, here I go again. Minor third, don't make it bad. Major third, sweet chariot. Mozart likes to write with perfect fourths. It's just one of those tritones. A perfect fifth was put to C. Minor six are sad. I tried to watch this movie, it was pretty bad. I'm starting with a major sixth. Minor seventh, minor seventh. This note is a minor seventh. And have yourself a major seventh Christmas. Messendorma is an octave. Well, I really hope that was useful. If it was, if you found it useful for any oral training classes or sight reading or just being able to pitch a note, then make sure you smash the thumbs up. Yes, give the channel a subscribe because I'm going to be putting loads more content out there. Make sure you don't miss next week's episode because that's going to be a full-on crash course in learning how to read music. Until then, I've been James and I'll see you next time. Do you have songs for descending intervals?